Chris here. So today what I have plans is to fish this pond. This is actually the pond where I caught my personal best bass for this year. But uh, other than that I don't I've never really had much luck here. So today I have my ultralight tackle box with me as well as some soft plastics. And I'm really just interested to see what fish or what species of fish I can pull out of here if I get anything. Um, I apologize if there is high wind noise. I actually just turned my camera on to high wind filter, so hopefully that uh, helps. But it's super windy out here, which is probably going to add to the difficulty of the fishing conditions. But I'm going to go ahead and get rigged up and get started. Alright, so starting with this little Amazon crankbait. But last time I was here, I saw a bunch of bluegill in this area, so. So I'm going to target first, but I have these polarized sunglasses on and I cannot see any type of life right now. It's crazy, man. This place looks like it would be full of fish, but oh, I just saw a wake. I'm going to move down some. I may throw on those tiny swim baits. Those would probably be effective in this situation. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, nothing. They're just looking at it. Okay, as I was saying, I see a bunch of small fish right now, so that's why I switched to this. I think this would be more effective, but I can't seem to. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's a bass right there. All right, so that did work out. First fish of the day, bluegill. Let's let him go. All right, guys, so I just caught my first fish of the day. It was a little bluegill. I was planning on actually starting with a small crankbait, but after seeing the size of the bluegill, bluegill here, I decided to switch to that little tiny swim bait. And I think I'm, that's what's probably going to work the best. So I'm going to keep fishing that. I have seen a few bass. I'll probably target those in a bit. But I'm going to see if I can get some fish on the boards with this little swim bait first. All right, man. So I've been here about 20 minutes. I was getting a few bites when I was casting with this, but now nothing. I can see fish. I'm assuming they can see me. I don't know if that's what's making things so difficult, but I'm going to go ahead and move and see if I can hook into anything else. But man, fishing is always tough here, man. guys so I just got fish number three out of here it's another bluegill super excited to be catch actually be catching fish here third fish of the day here so let him go all right so it's gonna go right here there he goes oh man there's a bunch of bluegill trapped in here oh fish on Oh, whoo! <laughs> All right, guys, just got another tiny bluegill. So what I'm learning is that if I let this lure drop for a while and then I start reeling, I'm getting a lot more hits. So that's gonna be the strategy moving forward. But here we go, fish number four, I think, another tiny bluegill. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch to this. It's a cream bait I got from Walmart about a year ago, a little bit over a year, and I have yet to catch a fish on it. So I figured I'd tie this on and see if I have any luck with it. I just cast out and got hooked on somebody's fishing line. It looks like a whole mess of it. I wonder if there's, there was something on the end, but it probably came off. 
but it's clearing a path in these weeds for sure. Oh no, there might be something, be so, something connected to this. What is on here? Oh. So I kind of don't want to touch this, but what is on the look? Please don't be something disgusting on here. Oh wow. <laughs> Topwater frog. Nice. <laughs> well, it's definitely a nice find. This is a lunker hunt. That's what I should be throwing. I only brought my ultralight with me. And I kind of want to keep this, but it's a great find. Nice. All right, guys. Well, I was able to catch a few fish, a good amount of bluegill, and one tiny bass, which I caught pretty much off camera. But I mean, this place has always been tough for me to fish. So the good part about today was, other than catching fish, I found that prop frog and a few jumbo sankos. So the next time I come back here, I'm actually planning on frogging. It seems like that area that I found today would be excellent for frogging. And that'll probably be the best method to catch bass out of here. So if you're new to this channel, guys, I put out videos every Sunday at 10 a.m. and Wednesdays at 5. I'd appreciate it if you guys would hit the subscribe button and like the video as well. It really helps out the channel. Anyways, I hope you're having a fantastic week. Till the next time, tight lines. Catch you next time. Here we go. Finally. Another fish. <sighs>